and welcome to a Toby Knit Vlogmas Day 8. Really? 8? No. 8? Oh, I guess it is. <sighs> Why did I think? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm losing it. Don't worry about me. It's day 8. <laughs> Um, this morning I was upstairs baking. Sean has been after me, Sean, to make him some peanut butter snowballs. Now, I have made these every year at Christmas time, and I only make them at Christmas time. I believe it's got to be, what would you say it was, Bob, 20, 25 years now? Yep. That I'd be making them. He's just laying beside me on the bed. And um, usually I make them and I do have a secret ingredient that I put in them. They're from the Taste of Home magazine that I used to get all the time, every month. And it was a special Christmas edition. I literally, it's got to be in the 90s or something. Anyway, I can't remember. It's that lot long ago, but I make them every year. And they're covered in their peanut butter and icing sugar and butter and you roll them into little balls and then you dip them into white chocolate, melted white chocolate. And they are glorious. And then we usually just leave them in the freezer and the kids used to eat them straight out of the freezer. Um, but uh, now that Sean is vegan, I can't use the secret ingredient. Well, at least I don't think I can. And I can't use the white chocolate because it's a milk chocolate and he doesn't eat milk chocolate. So I use dark chocolate for his. <laughs> so his are dirty <laughs> peanut butter snowballs. <laughs> so anyway, I made some of them for him today. I'll leave the recipe below for you in the comments so you can make your own because they're really scrumptious. And um, the other thing I made something new this year and I'm dying to try them. They're actually little penguins, and I'll leave you a link to them too. They're a, a sh an orange shortbread with chocolate on them, and they look like penguins. You're supposed to use fondant icing and all that to make them, but we've all decided, no, we'll just do the dipping and that'll be it. So I made them this morning, so I just have to um, do all the chocolate, um, paraphernalia on them all now they're all chilling and cooling and then I'll do the chocolate on them so I'll show you then when they're finished um so what else last night Bob and I went to um yes I've got my cup of tea have you got yours good we went into um Halifax last night just two of us and for a walk around, I was a little bit disappointed. There wasn't as many more lights and prettiness down by the harbor um, along the broadwalk as I had thought there would be. But, and it was freezing cold. Oh, it was so cold. Um, and then we, um, we found this funny little, it's called the Evergreen. I feel like it was some kind of pop-up Christmas market, but it really wasn't all that good. Anyway, we didn't really stick around there because it was just freezing. Yeah. Right. And 
went for a walk up to um, the public gardens, which are at the top of the hill. If you don't know Halifax, it's on a hill. <laughs> and the harbour is at the bottom of the hill. And then, anyway, I can't tell you how annoyed I was at walking up the hills. <laughs> There are so many hills in Halifax. I am completely out of breath. And we're not even at the top of the hill. It did just about wear me out. Um, but we walked all the way up the top of the hills, all the way up Spring Garden Road. I'll show you a couple of clips of that. When we got to the top, there was the public gardens locked. Well, the beautiful public gardens are not open, which is a bummer. Last year I came here with Sean and Megan and there were lights everywhere. Oh well, next time. Off to find food now. Locked. I'm like, what? Last year I was here, it was all beautiful with lights. So we left and we walked back down the hill and uh, went into, um, where did we go? For what? Supper. Baton Rouge. Oh yeah, Baton Rouge. We went to Baton Rouge and um, we had a really nice dinner there. So of course we're Googling the lights and public gardens and well we're such turnips <laughs> it was between it's between 5 and 9 p.m <laughs> we were there at like 4 30 <laughs> so we missed it by half an hour so we're gonna go again so we'll take you with us next time but we're going in the car because this time we went over on the ferry and it was just literally freezing cold so anyway let me show you what i've been working on and Oh, I left my bag over there with the yarn. So I did manage uh, last night. This is the Bakery Bears Advent Socks, and I'm trying to get them done two at a time. This was um, day one, day two, day three, day four. No, day one, day two four six yeah because we are, she's doing it every other day so these are what we have done so far and i'm trying to on the off days catch up and do the second sock so that it will be uh, i'll be able to wear them on christmas when they when we're done so those are what i have worked on so i'm just about to do the stripey part and uh, so that's a lot of fun and then the other thing I've been working on the most has been the Cozenetta socks. And these are, I'm doing two at a time on a magic loop, 30 inch, 40 inch, something like that. And um, this is where I'm up to. And this is a lovely fade, um, but it's really hard to tell where you're up to. So day one, day two, day three, wait now, day one, day two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's what it is. It's so hard to see the difference in the colors though. This one is now getting darker. Can you see it better that way? I can't even tell. One, two, is there three? Gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I think I'm on eight. I'm always trying to get a day ahead. Is it the eighth today? Oh, it is the eighth today. Um, so I've been doing these at night so that I can have it ready to show you in the daytime where the light is better. So, so again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then this is going to be 
a darker color for, and you can see it here because it's starting on the back. Um, so these are coming on really lovely. I'm really enjoying them. But as I say, when I knit them at night, I, it's really hard for me to tell if I've come to the end of that color stripe. The only way I can really tell is I've been trying to count at least five rows. And then on the sixth, I have to keep putting it under the light to see if it's six rows or five. Most of them have been five. Bob. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not editing that out. It's the dog. It was the dog no dog in the it room. Was. He's not in the room. Oh no. So anyway, those are those. So, uh, anyway, those again. Uh, there's a fun. I'm enjoying doing them. And I'm enjoying doing two at a time too at, on the same needle. It's kind of, although I'm not really sure on one. I noticed that the one uh, sock, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think I was pulling tight enough. And right here, it's a bit loosey goosey there. And then once I realized that, I started pulling tighter up here when I was coming around. So. But they're just for me. Nobody's going to notice. I dare you to actually comment and say, oh, when you see me in the street. Because, you know, when else are you going to know? Okay, now I'm going to go and pause this because I have to go get the day eight mini skein to open. One second. Okay, I'm back. And I have day eight that we can open. So if you haven't been watching and you're new, hello, by the way. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for coming. Um, these are, um, uh, mini skeins, 20 gram mini skeins I had collected last year from Ellie of Craft Chess Magic and they were her mixtape minis. I literally have no idea what the names of these all are because I've left the card at home in Ontario and I'm in Nova Scotia. And, um, so yeah, these are, um, the mixtape minis. So I had Bob, I put them all in packages and I had Bob numbered them so I wouldn't know what they were going to be. So here is day eight. Oh my goodness. That, okay, that's going to have to be one of my solids. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that pretty? So if you don't know, um, Ellie has put out a new pattern, which is called... Um, nesting box shawl there's a link below to that and you have to knit all of these things shapes I've had that many people tell me what they're all called <laughs> you'll see in the comments below from parallelograms to oh something else um, oh there's all kinds of different exciting terms that are obviously math related that I have no idea what they are. But that was my day one yarn. That was my day two yarn. I'm holding them double with a plane to make it a squishy DK weight. And um, and then I wanted this one to be not with the white. So I split the yarn into two little balls and just did them as one. So that's what I'll definitely do with this because it's too pretty to use with the white. Um, so I still have a bunch in here that I have not yet wound up or started working on, but are they not just glorious? Look at them. I'm not kidding. Ellie does beautiful dye work. So those will get eventually uh, made into these little things, which then will get made into the shawl or the blanket. Um, but I haven't, uh, I've been too busy working on the socks, trying to catch up and get ahead. But these are super easy to make. They're lovely potato chip knitting when you're just watching telly. So yeah, so that's all I've got for you today. Um, 
tomorrow you'll see how the cookies turned out. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.